Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 3. So, I've definitely established that it likes to rain on me. Since I've been on, it has been raining constantly and <laughs> storming, and it's just, it's wonderful. <laughs> so, in the last episode, um, Oh, got some experience there. In the last episode, we ended up completing the kitchen, and I did get it all set up. So we've got our milk jar and our toaster, and I've already started putting some things in here. And, oh, and apparently I need to eat too. All right. And off camera, I did end up making the corned beef breakfast. So I was finally able to get that done. There was a lot of stuff that ended up going into that. Um, but we did accomplish it. Now, the one queen that I put into the apiary gave us 10 honeycomb and a wax comb and some bee grubs. The bee grubs, you can cook them and stuff, but I don't really want to do that. <laughs> so, but with this, so if we take the honeycomb, I'm pretty sure it goes in the presser. Yes, pressing. Okay. So these can then come in here. And it'll press these, and it should give us honey and pressed wax, I think. And then just the wax comb will give us the pressed wax. So we'll let that work. Now, we had um, done the traps last time, and I already got the green one. And so it's like, okay, well, I'll go ahead and put that in. Let's see. Oh, we got turkey. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, because the turkey... We need for the uh, the Thanksgiving meal. So we'll let that continue working. Now with the ground traps, they have to be in the ground and have at least four grass blocks around them. And so that is working. Um, I made some extra of the green, uh, the green bait so that, you know, since we already had that in our inventory. Now, there are, yeah, because we had this one when we ended up using the presser the last time. So if I grab these, there are several different types of baits that you can use. So we've got the this one. So if we go like, oop, ah, not like that. Well, that'll work. So there's the fruit bait. There is the fish bait. And then there is the veggie bait. And then depending on which one you use, will determine what um, what you get. So here we've got all different kinds of things. So raw duck. So if you go into that uh, into use, you can end up seeing what it is that you'll end up getting. And so like the fruit bait, you've got rabbit and let's see rabbit. Yeah, rabbit seems to be the biggest thing in this one. And then with the fish bait, this actually goes into the water trap and you get all different kinds of fish and like oysters and mussels and all those wonderful things. So now we have that one finally accomplished. We didn't get a chance to accomplish that in the last episode. Um, so let's come back here. We want Master Chef. So the only thing left is the thankful dinner, and that's what I needed the turkey for. So I'll be able to work on that off camera to get that one done, and then that will allow us to get the Master Chef done. Now, better storage. I did make some progress here on the better storage. We have a, I, I set them up here just, <laughs> just to set them up. So we've got a silver one, and we've got a gold one. I do not have enough diamonds to even think about doing the diamond one and then the only other one left is the um is the obsidian one and then that will end up completing our better storage so i definitely have a lot of things that i need to be grinding out on you know off camera now let's see today we are going to be mostly working in the mystical flora and then we are going to start a basic factory and so with that we can go ahead and drop off this stuff. I plan on setting up the um, the water trap and then getting the fish out there as well. So if we do this, do this, and then we can start getting rid of some of this stuff as well. 
So we're going to need this stuff, we're going to need this stuff, we're going to need this stuff, and this. Haha, and it all fits. Look at that. So today, one of the first things I want to do is I want to do the river gate. Now, the river gate, um, I actually have things set up because it has to be set up in a oh, river at, at, come on, work for me. There we go. It has to be set up in a river biome. And with that, let's see, so we got the wooden mesh, which is relatively easy to make. I mean, it has to be set up in a river. And so I did some scouting out and I found, I found a river. So it says resources from river. So if we come over here, I want to get this set up. Now I was doing a little bit of research on this whole factory tech thing because I've never, I've never worked with it before. And it is, there are machines that don't require power, but instead you end up having to replace parts. So let's, let's get down here. Do I have, okay, I do have a block because I think I have to set it up. Let's see, are we in the river still here? It looks like it. Yeah. Okay. So if we do that, let's get rid of this one. Come on. Thank you. So river gate. So it is requiring another mesh. I'm confused. Oop, and I'm about to die. Oh. So yeah, the mesh is gone. Oh, okay, maybe not. Weird. Huh. Interesting. I am not a hundred percent sure. It's in a it's in a river biome, right? Yeah, we're in a river. So it's in here, but it looks like it's asking for another grate. Do I have, I don't know if I have extra, extra wood. Do I have extra? <gasps> I do. Okay. So we have a, we have a crafting table. Hopefully this doesn't fall into the void. E. Okay. And then, oh, it's was, it was in here. So if we do this. So maybe we have to put an additional grate in. Let's see. If, ah, there we go. Okay. So it does. And it gives us a little progress bar. I wonder how long it takes in order for it to actually grab something. Okay. Well, now we know. We do actually have to have the um, have a grate in there. But we'll let that run, see what we get. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to set that up is because it is supposed to get, um, it's supposed to get like the iron and copper and, and stuff like that. And so that'll be a renewable resource in terms, whoops, in terms of our, uh, really? Oh, well, it'll, it'll go back. <laughs> But, you know, that'll get us iron and copper, and I think tin was another one. Um, not 100% sure. I'd have to go back and look. All right, let's check the trap. See, ooh, we got leather and beef. Okay, I'll take some of that. So that is definitely, that is definitely handy, because then we don't actually have to butcher animals or anything like that. We just set out the traps, and voila. But that also means that I need to harvest more wheat and stuff so let's uh food food all right so let's pop down food in there and then uh, throw this into the mess okay there we go <laughs> so the other thing that i wanted to do in terms of the factory tech was the um grindstone the grindstone is what gets us started for the um for the other mods so we need oh I'm missing a piece of stone apparently. So here we go. This is the basic motor. And this will also tell us what we need uh, um, in terms of the what goes into it. So let's go ahead and make the grindstone. And then we can set this down. Okay, for right now, let's set this down right here. The, this right here requires... I have no clue. Um, it looks like a blade, maybe. 
blade. It kinda, kinda looks like that. So is it a saw blade that we need? No, stone gear. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so that that's okay. That's it's relatively easy. Let's see. We want stone and we want cobblestone. Do I have cobblestone in here? Cobble right there. Look at that. Look at that. We're good. So it was four cobble to make a stone gear. Okay, and then the stone gear goes in here. All right, so we've got a stone gear. And then it looks like in order to get the saw blade, you put another stone gear in and it creates that. So let's, let's try this out as I've never, I've never actually played around with factory tech. So this is, this is kind of new for me. All right. So we got a stone gear. And then if we put that in the grindstone, does that turn into a blade? It does. And then, of course, the blade is probably going to end up being used for one of the next steps on that. Now, there was one more thing that I wanted to get done in terms of the factory. Let's see. That was under a basic factory. So making, oh, apparently there's more steps. So, oh, and a stone cutting blade. How do you make a stone cutting blade? A uh, stone cutting blade is just a piece of stone, which I don't I don't have. <laughs> go figure. I don't have it. All right. There we go. One piece of stone, one piece of stone. Okay. So we can take that out and that allow us to complete that quest. And oh my gosh, it's not raining. There's light. Oh. <laughs> yes, I can't believe how much it has been raining. All right. So we now have the stone cutting blade. So that completes that one. The other one that I wanted to do was a compact auto crafting. And I think, I think I have every, oh, there was the rest of my stone. It's like, I thought I could have sworn I had more stone. Oh, well. All right. So auto craft. Bleh, in a, <laughs> apparently I can't spell. Auto crafter. Here we go. So pretty easy recipe. Copper, iron, piston, and the table. So there we go. We have an auto crafter. So let's see what this says. Okay, so this requires the stone gears as well in order to do the auto crafting. And then I will have to figure out because I know if we come, if we come over here to the book, um, there are, here we go, the basic piping and then moving items in all directions. These things help to get things to other things. And so I think that'll probably end up being good with the auto crafter. But that is all we are going to do today in terms of the basic factory. The rest of it, I want to get a little bit more progress done in terms of Botania. So let's see. Let's see. What can we drop off? We can drop off this and this. And I think that, okay, I think that is all we can drop off. So the first thing I want to do is I want to craft the horns. There are three different types of horns that they have in here. And I just realized I only have one pasture sheet seed and I need, I'm going to need three. So in order to make a pasture seed, what you need to do is you need to have the grass. So use the shears on bone meal grass and then you bring it over here. Oh, and it looks like my, my thing's broke again. And then you just drop them in and you have pasture seeds. So that'll allow me to craft three of the regular horns because the other two recipes require one of these horn of the wild. So let's go ahead and split these up, throw this in here we'll craft the horn of the wild. All right. And then we need to craft, let's see the horn of covering or a horn of the covering. And then the other one is this one, which is the horn of the canopy. So each one of these breaks different types of blocks. Granted, I'm not hundred percent sure, pretty sure like the horn of the canopy will end up breaking leaves. So it only broke. Oh, wow. That's, that's kind of cool. 
And it doesn't appear to have any kind of durability, so that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll find out, you know, what, you know, what the other ones, what the other ones do. But that completed that particular quest. So we've got, we've got the horns and then I'll play around with those a bit and, you know, at a later time. Now, the other ones we want to do is a runic altar and the personal mana as well as the alchemy cat catalyst. So the altar, this will allow us to start making the runes, which is going to be fantastic because those can start getting us some pretty powerful stuff. Um, so that I think I think that was the only thing I had to do in that one. Yeah. So and that unlocked the elemental runes, the Rosa Arcana and the botanical brewery, as well as the passive mana generation. Oh, and the mana blaster. Okay, so and it unlocked a lot of things. This, oh, including hitting the drums. Wow. Doing that really unlocked a whole lot of things. All right, so the next thing I want to do is the personal mana. Um, so if we come over here and do a mana tablet, this is a relatively easy recipe. Is it? Is it just a diamond? Okay, it can be either one. So let's go ahead and do the mana tablet. And then the next step is the ring. And I don't remember. Um, Mana. Let's see. Band of mana. Here we go. I knew I'd only need it for. But band of mana. That. Hopefully. There we go. So that completed that one. So that's a personal mana one. Which is going to be great because then, but the only issue is that we, yeah, I'm, because I think it has to be in one of the ring slots. So I'll end up having to give up one of these in order to, um, in order to actually use it. That is right. We will, we can, we can work on that later. So the last thing that we need to do is the alchemy catalyst. Now this is going to be awesome because this will allow us. Oh, dang it. Ah, okay. So the other one was supposed to be the diamond, but the alchemy catalyst will allow us to change a lot of things into other things, which is one of the things that I really like about it because it allows us to get resources we might not necessarily be able to get readily otherwise and then it'll also allow us to get a little bit further in terms of our um in terms of our batania there we go so there we go alchemy catalyst so that should complete that should complete that one yes so it did complete that one now the ones we really want to complete are the Sin Runes and the Conjuration Catalyst. But that is going to take a while because in order to get that we've got to do the Portal to Elfheim. And the reason why I want to do that is because that right there will end up unlocking some true magic. So there, yeah, we still have, and then the factory, the basic factory is what's locking us for these three right here. But I really, I wouldn't really want to be down here, like, because you got Twilight, and let's see, there's Open Aether there, and then the other one was where, oh, Digital Storage. I'm missing my Digital Storage so much, <laughs> because this is, this, this is a mess. Everything's, everything's a mess. But that is all right. I, th we've, yeah, we've definitely, we've definitely got a lot done in the last several episodes, which is, which is absolutely fantastic. So I will work off camera to get all of the stuff that we need, if not just straight craft the, uh, the thankful dinner. Cause that, yeah, this is one of the biggest meals, of course, cause that takes, that takes a lot. Cause if we come over here, I can show you guys the recipe. So we got the cooked turkey mashed potatoes, corn, cranberry jelly, sweet potato pie, lettuce, and toast. And even just like the toast, and toast is like five different steps in order to get there. It's not, you know, it because it used, it used to be you just put bread in the toaster and you got toast, but 
they, I think they kind of nerfed it because, you know, toast sandwiches were so popular and people would just make the bread, put it in the toaster, and voila, you got a, you know, awesome little mini meal. But yeah, so that is going to be it for this episode. Definitely hope that you guys, you know, like this episode. Let me know if I'm going, you know, if I'm going too fast in terms of the episodes, like if I'm moving too fast through the quests. Or if you think that, you know, maybe I should be moving a little bit faster, you know, actually kind of craft the stuff. Because, like, with these, oh, oh, that's kind of interesting particles. All right, stop getting distracted. Um, you know, it might be one of those that you guys, you know, just go ahead and craft them up and then show, show how to put them together type thing. Instead of, you know, just sitting there and crafting them on camera, you know craft them and then bring you guys in after completing the quest and then show how to actually get the, you know, get them all set up. But let me know, know down in the comment section what you guys think, you know, what you guys want to see. Whether you guys want me to actually continue doing the whole, you know, step by step through the different quests and stuff like that. Or if you want me to kind of, you know, jump a little bit more than what I have been doing. So if you guys like this episode, definitely hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. It definitely helps out the channel. And then if you guys want to be notified as to when I put out additional content, definitely hit that um, notification bell. But for now, I'm going to call it and I will see you guys in the next episode.